Happy Transfer Tuesday, everybody. What is hopefully the last Transfer Tuesday in this apartment, which we are all so excited, even though I'm the only one that looks there right now, because he's asleep. <laughs> She's chilling, but we are all excited to get out of here. And I do have some updates on moving, but before that, of course, let's go through money moves over the last week. I do have quite a few to share with you guys, which is exciting. And the first one came in on the 16th, which was last Tuesday after I had filmed uh, last week's Transfer Tuesday video, but it was a Venmo notification that Lucia or Lucia, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but uh, gifted me with $15 for gas. So thank you so much. As you guys know, I am saving a ton of money by moving most of the things myself, using my car to drive up to Maine instead of paying for movers and a moving truck. It's so much cheaper doing it myself. So thank you so much for chipping in on the gas. I really appreciate that. And then the next money move was on the 19th. It was another Venmo notification and Carol had sent me $150 and, and she said just for some encouragement. Thank you so much, Carol. That definitely came in useful today, which I'll talk about in a second. And then the next update was on the 21st and another Venmo notification. And this one was from Andrew and he sent me $20 as a gift. Thank you so much, Andrew. I also put that towards gas for this last trip I just made over the weekend. I really appreciate you guys very much. And then yesterday on the 22nd, I got my uh, YouTube AdSense payout for the month of June, and that was $453.52, which is so cool. Now, of course, I have to pay taxes on that, and I, I will, but that is amazing thank you guys so much for being here and showing up to watch my videos during this time <laughs> where that kind of income additional income to my w-2 income is incredibly helpful because the w-2 income is not going so great which we'll talk about that in a second then the last money move i made was this morning when i actually paid my health insurance and that was $125.44. So Carol, thank you so much for helping me cover my health insurance for the month. That will be my last health insurance payment here in Massachusetts. So since I'm moving to Maine, I'll be switching to Maine. And before I signed up, I did make sure to verify that moving out of state, of course, qu uh, qualifies as one of those life events that allows you to cancel or change your coverage uh, during a non-enrollment period. So I'll deal with that when the time comes. But for now, I did pay for mass one more time. The coverage kind of started on, you know, not on the first of the month. And so it's a little bit wonky, but it's okay. It's better to be covered than not covered. So now we can talk about the W-2 work updates. As I mentioned, I went up to Maine over the weekend. I took a few more things up, but I also had all of my gear with me because I had a boat scheduled for yesterday, Monday, out of Portland. So I just thought I'd go up, hang out with my parents for the weekend, and then just leave out of there since it's like a 45 minute drive from my parents' house to the port instead of from here where it's uh, like two hours almost. But of course that boat ended up canceling and I just ended up driving back Sunday evening. Since I last saw you guys, let's see, last Tuesday I was on a boat which I filmed and uploaded loaded after I got back. So I told you guys about that. And then I had a boat trip the next day, so last Wednesday. But then I wasn't scheduled for anything until Monday and they canceled and that was supposed to be a two day trip. But I got assigned another boat for today they canceled. <laughs> I have two boats assigned for tomorrow. Maybe one will go. <laughs> I'll find out later this afternoon, but so only one more work day since I last saw you guys last Tuesday, which kind of stinks. That is only five days at sea 
for the month. So five days of work for the month so far, and today's already the 23rd, so not great. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. I'm feeling deflated about that, but it's okay because luckily, financially, I feel like I kind of hit the eject button on this place just in time. Like, yeah, it did cost me uh, $1,500 to like terminate my lease early, but at least I don't have to pay another month's rent here. And this past week I have uh, scheduled turning off the electric and the gas in my name, as well as my internet, since I won't need that at my aunt's house. She already has it. So I'm eliminating three monthly bills off my plate right there. And rent, of course, is going to look dramatically different. Um, my aunt is going to fight me on it, but I'm going to pay her something. It will be way less than here. So that's a dramatically reduced monthly bill. So eliminating three and I'll be down to only four. A small rent, Netflix. <laughs> my health insurance, I don't know what that'll look like. I'll be signing up with Maine and that'll be dictated by what they my income is. My fourth monthly payment will just be my student loans, which is Mohila, which if, if you're dealing with them right now, you know they are in upheaval over there. I don't know. No, they're, they're transitioning everyone to a new platform or a new service or platform, whatever. I think that process started back in April. So at the same time that I submitted my new job income since it was dramatically different than my old job income just so that they could recalculate my new monthly payment but right after i did that they said okay we've received your documents here's what we estimate your new monthly payment will be going forward and they said it was around 90 dollars. but they said we are going to calculate and finalize that so this is not the final number but this is estimated what we think it'll be based on your income but then all of the uh service or platforms change started happening and I've been on an administrative forbearance ever since and they've never given me the official recalculation because <laughs> you know they're dealing with some things over there so I know they've messed up a lot of people's accounts and it sounds horrible who knows when that'll be fixed but yeah so like four monthly payments but one is still in a forbearance of some sort. I don't have a monthly cell phone or car insurance payment because I choose to pay those annually so I save money and also then throughout the year don't have to worry about those payments and both of those items don't bill again until next spring so I don't have to worry about those anytime immediately. So however long this stay with my aunt ends up being, it's at least a really fantastic financial reprieve for the immediate future. So all that to say is, I guess the really low income comes at a semi-conveniently timed low expenses <laughs> coming up, at least for August. So it gives me a little bit of time to figure out what the next step is because I have no idea, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I just want to get moved first and get us settled into my aunt's, which brings up moving day. That's tentatively going to be Monday. That will be the 29th. So my dad's on board for that. And the off chance that I get a boat that actually wants to fish on Monday, then next Tuesday is the alternate date. That'll be the day that my dad comes up with his truck and we get the last of the big items out of here and hopefully fit everything between his truck and my car. And like, that'll just be the last trip. It'll be done. If not though, that does buy me uh, Wednesday as a day of buffer if I do need to make one last trip. So it's happening. It came in quick and down to the last week here. It's officially, well, tomorrow. It'll be one week till the end of the month, but just a few days left here for us. I cannot wait. The cats are going to be so excited about my aunt's house. It's going to be wonderful, but that's all the updates I have for now. Cross your fingers for some work tomorrow. 
and or the next day or any day <laughs> a few more cds this month please even though there's lots to be moved and like that will just like jam pack the days i also need the income so <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here and all of your kind words and encouragement. It means so much to me. As always, please feel free to let me know what money moves you guys made towards your future down in the comments and I will see you again very soon.